you guys are happy to be here tonight. Thank you, Roots. <laughs> Let's give it up for our house band. Let's give it up for our house band. Let's give it up for Reggie's hair. Anyone? Let's give it up for Reggie's hair. Let's give it up for Gio's green shirt. Let's give it up for Jez's bow tie. Let's... Let's give it up for America, right here with Alexis. And last but not least, ladies, let's give it up for Leo's face. Leo's face, everybody. <laughs> that dude's smiling big. <laughs> okay, super late. We'll work on it for next week. Work on it for next week. All right. Welcome to one to one tonight. We're so glad you're here. Are there any visitors here? Anybody here for the first time? Anyone? I have a visitor. Let's give it up for these visitors that are raising their hand. We love your faces and your bank accounts. I'm not, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to say there. Uh, but we're excited for tonight. Uh, to, the next three weeks are going to be a little bit different. Uh, so a lot of times we do a thing called a sermon series where it's the same kind of title and you know, we talk about the different parts of it throughout the month and this month is a little bit different. It's going to be our very first month where we don't have a sermon series, but we're going to do more like a talk show type feel for the next three weeks. We're going to have a good time. Uh, you're going to see, I'm actually going to shave for the next three weeks. And everybody said, Jesus is coming back. Okay. Um, don't usually wear a suit and all that kind of stuff. I always like to chill in my, in my, in my jeans and my t-shirt, my tank, even though I got no muscles. But um, I always like to chill, stuff like that. But for the next couple of weeks, we're going to change it up, change up the pace a little bit. And uh, to, to help me tonight, I need you guys to help. Let's give it up for 121 staff. Let's give it up for the staff of 121 for our main leaders, our cabezas. Let's give it up for these guys as they come out. They're looking all spiffy. Some of them look like they got jobs. Some of them don't have jobs, but they look like they're trying to get jobs. I love Janessa's jacket and dress. Lex is trying to come out here like he's all cool with his polo jacket. Let's give it up for Lex's tight, tight pants. Tight, tight pants. Let's give it up for Kareem's red socks. I don't know about you guys, but if you don't have a Bible, but you're looking to buy a Bible, Kareem looks like a Bible salesman. Kareem is definitely going to sell some Bibles tonight. We got Jesse Moran with his hot pink shirt on, looking all nice. Look, you're going to bust out a cigar, but just don't, don't, just don't, don't do that. Uh, Jesse Marie looking all pretty, looking fancy, looking good. Let's give it up for Kevin's muscles, anyone? Kevin's. How many of you guys know those guys when you see them, you're like, dude, I hate you. Like you're wearing a dress shirt and a jacket and a tie and I can still see your muscles. I wear a tank top and those things still go missing. All right. So you guys are looking nice, looking Dougie fresh, Douglas fresh. And Annual, can you stand up real quick? I love Annually's jacket. She was showing me something earlier. She, move your left jacket right here. She's wearing a leather, a leather, or what's it called for guys? She's wearing like a leather hanky with the matching silver. That's just sick. That's just, that, that's ridiculous. Sit down. Your swag is too much. Okay. Uh, and tonight, we're gonna, our message is going to be about Mr. Opportunity. Do we have the logo up there? Mr. Opportunity. Tonight, we're going to talk about Mr. Opportunity. Uh, no, 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 my, no, no, no. I'm just kidding. I don't support that song. Um, Justin Timberlake, just kidding. Uh, and so tonight we're going to have a really good time. The, the, the format for the next three weeks are going to be different. In the middle of the message tonight, these guys are going to be able to interrupt me. These guys are going to be able to ask questions. And so for each point that we're going down the list, there's different times where I'm going to look back. And if any of them have something that, that a question they want to ask, uh, they're going to be able to ask it in the middle of the message. So if you know, uh, if you have any of these guys' phone numbers, do you guys have your phones on you? Nice. <laughs> Some of you are like, no, I'm not supposed to. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Uh, if you want to tweet these guys or if you want to text message these guys in the middle of the service for a question that you want to ask or if you forgot your phone but you're sending two of your people to go get your phone, that's cool. Um, but if you have a text message or have their uh, social media information, make sure that you follow them. Make sure that you write them tonight if you want a certain question asked. Uh, and remember, there are no dumb questions. 
Uh, but there are stupid ones. Okay. Um, but tonight we're going to have a good time. Uh, my main guest of honor tonight, if you'll help me, please get a round of applause for Mr. Opportunity. Let's give a round of applause for Mr. Opportunity. Thank you, Mr. Opportunity. Uh, it's kind of sad because I heard more guys yelling than girls, so I'm kind of scared for what happened. Mr. Opportunity, it's, it's good to see you. How are you doing tonight? Pleasure. Pleasure to meet you. It's good for you to be here. Uh, can, can you tell us just a little bit of, about yourself? Just, you know, a little bit of an intro. You know, do, what's your favorite color or, uh, or anything? I'm an interesting person. Uh, travel a lot. I know a lot of people. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm everywhere all the time, so it's interesting life. Okay, interesting life. Uh, um, would you say, uh, do you come to my, Miami often? Or is this kind of a once in a blue moon type thing? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm in Miami all the time, actually. Okay, you're in Miami all the time. Do, do you have any family here, any relatives, or do you have friends? Do you know anyone here? Uh, yeah, I actually, I probably know just about everyone in this room. I'm not sure if everyone here knows me exactly, but I'm, I'm pretty well acquainted. Okay, so you're, that's interesting. So you, you think you know everyone in here, they just, they don't all know you. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's pretty interesting. Uh, tonight, uh, as we get started uh, with Mr. Opportunity, I want you to open up your Bibles. Uh, we're going to open up to Psalm chapter 23, Psalm chapter 23, Psalm chapter, it's the book that starts with a P, but it sounds like an S, which makes no sense because it's like Psalms, uh, Psalms 23. So tonight's message, very simple, uh, Mr. Opportunity. If you're taking notes, if you're updating your social media, if you're going to do stuff on Twitter, whatever else, Mr. Opportunity. Today's message is Mr. Opportunity. Psalms chapter 23, we go ahead and put it up in verse 6. Uh, the first part of verse 6 is what we're going to focus on right now. Surely goodness, not surely my wife, corny joke here, okay. Verse 6, surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. Last time, surely goodness and mercy, goodness and mercy. Tell your neighbor goodness. goodness. Tell your neighbor mercy. mercy. Tell your neighbor brush your teeth. Mercy. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. Here in this first one, verse 6, we're beginning to understand and we're getting the image that David is giving to us that goodness and mercy is going to follow you. He's declaring this. He's saying this. Surely, as if like, as if he's forcing it to come. As if he's telling goodness and mercy 